Good day YouTube. Welcome to my channel. My name is Darren and my ham radio call sign is N4VFR. Now in this video I'm going to show you my new antenna disconnector. It's an actuator that you can remotely disconnect your coax from your radio. This is the antenna disconnect actuator from Paradan Radio. I think the the only distributor I think is um, DX Engineering, but I had specifically bought this off of QRZ a couple of months ago, and I'm just now getting around to uh, actually connecting it to my radio because I'm living here in in Florida, the capital of lightning, and. I need something to disconnect my antenna while I'm not using it and when there's storms in the vicinity in the vicinity of my station. So I already did some modification to this, but this is how it looks like. It's a real simple unit. And what I've done to it also was on the ends here I made it into a power pole connection. And I've used these um, uh, grounding straps so I can uh, connect this to the ground. It looks like uh, it's really simple to connect. So on this end here, you have a SO239 and you connect it from your radio. And on this end here, you connect your antenna. And on the back, it's just uh, four Phillips head screwdrivers or Phillips head screws. You have a lug here for your ground and this here is where it provides the power. I'm just going to open it up and, and uh, let's take a look on the inside. On the inside you can see in the middle there, there's the uh, gas discharge tube. The actual actuators right there. And the uh, connections for the uh, SO239. The manual says this could be mounted uh, in the outside, the uh, outside elements. Uh, here you can see around the edges there's a rubber seal. That surrounds the enclosure. So it prevents moisture from entering the case. Another thing to note is those four screws that I removed, there is a rubber gasket right there. So when you attach it or when you connect it, again, if you happen to open it up, it prevents moisture from entering or seeping into the case. This is how I plan on powering my antenna disconnect. I have a power source here kind of like a wall wart and if you look closely it's uh, the output is 12 volts and 3 amps so this is what I plan on using to power the actuator I've also cut off the ends and I've attached power pole connectors so that uh, I can interface this with the, uh, the disconnector, just like this, the modifications that I did. All right, now how do I remotely actuate the actuator? What I've done is I will use this TP-Link Wi-Fi uh, switch. So I just connect it, I just plug it in to the outlet, 
plug in the power source and then connect it to my Wi-Fi, this to my Wi-Fi, and I'm able to disconnect and connect or reconnect my antenna while I'm away uh, from my station. So let's take a look at those um, configurations. Here they are. Uh, figure 1A is when your transceiver has an accessory port that provides a 12 volt signal or power and you connect that to the antenna disconnect actuator. Number two or figure one Bravo, that's what I'm currently using. I'm using the Wi-Fi switch connected to a wall wart that provides me 12 volt DC and that powers my antenna disconnect actuator. And for figure number one C is when your radio is on and there's a sensor that says here power supply stays on, turn radio on to activate. So you have a sensor in your radio and you turn it on and that provides a 12 volt power to the actuator. So most commonly would probably be this. Since that I'm always away from my station when I operate the Flex 8600, I will be using this to connect my antenna when I'm operating. And when I'm done, I'll just turn it off via remote Wi-Fi connection. Well, let's test her out. All right, so here's my um, mobile phone. I'm gonna connect to my Wi-Fi switch and turn on the actuator. Okay, you see the green light, the LED? We're on 20 meters right now, and uh, the, the band is dead. So, that's why they're sending it up. Like, uh, so there's some there activity meters. on this frequency, 14336. And I'm going to turn off the antenna again. I can't believe they all have them. And see how it just disconnects? I want to reconnect. So then you give it all away to charity and you look like a good guy. That's how the antenna disconnect actuator can work in your shack. Well, Little beans, level. what do you guys think? Do you think uh, you'll get one of these for your stations? Um, for me, it's a benefit because when I'm away from the station operating remote control, it uh, minimizes the risk of being uh, damaged by static discharges in the atmosphere or even a uh, lightning strike that's near my location. Hey guys, if you're new to my channel, please consider to subscribe, leave me a like and a comment. My name is Darren and my ham radio call sign is N4VFR. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video. 73s and have a great day.